Hey guys, Frank Matic here, and this is the C64, as you may recall. Today, I'm not feeling up to uh, working on the bonus video, so I thought I'd take a look at one, maybe two, good old C64 ports of fairly famous games, just to see how they are. First up, we've got Altered Beast. Some of you that are a bit more around my age will recall this game intro. Let's check that out. That's the game where you wise from, from your grave and collect orbs to turn into monsters to save Zeus's daughter, I think. I don't freaking remember. Anyways, it was pretty good. It was a pretty good arcade game. It's a pretty good home port on other systems, at least. Let's see. Oh, this version is. I have made a mistake, I believe. Yeah. You uh, can't get out of the intro, apparently. Okay. Let's uh, speed this along a little bit. Two for game. <coughs> Here's a bunch of uh, trainers. But not feeling the need. If someone really wants to see how this game goes fully in the C64, maybe. But let's see how I do without cheating. Full disclosure, I have played a little bit of this. Mainly to make sure it actually worked somewhat. But we can talk about that in a few minutes when it finishes loading. In the meantime, how's your day going? Mine's alright. Been playing a lot of Breath of the Wild recently. Had to tear myself away from that to actually make content for this channel. And here we are! It's one player. Missing the fantastic Wise from Your Grave sound clip immediately making this the inferior port. So because we only have one button and a joystick to work with, the controls in this are awkward as hell. If you're standing, you kick. If you push a direction, you punch. And if you duck, you do this machine gun punch. And it's really hard to avoid taking damage from most things, unless you do this. And even the machine gun punch is not a guarantee that you will not get punched. Because things can and will spawn directly under you. Anyways, the objective in this game is to kill three of those flashing dogs to get three orbs and transform. In the arcade and other home ports, we would have grown a little after grabbing that first orb, and the second orb. In this game, though, we are just becoming more and more the Hulk 
in the bottom left in our lives counter. If you reach this point and have not transformed, congratulations, you get to cycle through the level again. That is where the boss will be once we are ready to fight it. But we can only fight the boss in our transformed state. Also, I'm going to lose a life. Yep, oh, not even an actual full-on transformation scene. But now we are the wolf, and we have a new attack. We do this. Oh god, that's not working out so great. Against the blue dude, apparently. He just no-sold that thing. Also lost the ability to duck an attack, which I don't recall happening to this form previously. I could be misremembering. It's a very long, been a very long time since I uh, played Altered Beast. There appears to not be a way to jump down in this edition. That's pretty cool. Incidentally, again, due to the way the controls have to work for single button, up is jump, which, as everyone knows, is excellent. This boss is going to be a misery. Here it is. I can't even tell if I'm actually damaging it. It's certainly damaging me. taunted by the evil wizard head who steals your orb singular instead of all three for whatever reason and you move on to another level each level has its own transformation in the arcade game at least I'm not certain if that's the case here if we're lucky we'll find out oh hey music does exist I was starting to wonder Yeah, aside from the awful, awful control scheme, which is just a byproduct of what they had to work with, this is, seems like a fairly okay port. It's mostly functional. Fully functional, really. I'm thinking about it. I kind of feel like the wolf in the first stage didn't have the dash attack and had a different attack, or maybe I'm thinking of a wolf in a later stage. Because I remember there's two versions of the wolf, but I don't remember where each one shows up. Like I said, it's been... Oh boy, it's been over, over 20 years probably since I last played Alter Beast. And here we are. Stage two, a gross cave. Our new basic one-punch enemy. Is this thing. Also, we got snakes.
If you punch their rattles, they don't fully spawn. Yeah, you can't even hit the ones on the ceiling as a regular human. Nope, yep, I'm dead. I'm gonna guess we don't get any continues. But let's see. In the second stage, if I recall, you turn into a flying dragon dude that has an electrical wave as his attack. And by wave, I mean aura, and it's really short range and not that great. <coughs> does make the boss kind of a joke, though. Unlike the first one, it was actually a little threatening. <coughs> I think the main problem with this port is that the sluggishness of the controls. Yeah, there's no continues. Causes uh, it to be really hard to dodge anything that's happening. So yeah, I'm not going to play this again. I might come back to it sometime though and see if we can get farther. Maybe on a stream sometime. But there is one other thing I found when I was going through my list of stuff here. That game that I love to hate. Oh good, I've been rescued. It doesn't work. I did promise too, and this is technically, if I recall, an arcade port also. If this is what I think it is. This might not be what I think it is. If not, we're we're getting into getting into surprise territory here. This is not what I thought it was, but let's uh let's see what Wizard Wars is, shall we? Bodes well, I have no idea what I'm looking at. Whoop. I seem to have no control over myself. I need to be in port one. Nope. Okay, new plan. Forget this. This is something that I need to actually figure out. For real. It looks interesting, though. Okay, I promised an arcade port double header. Let's find one. Let's see. What's centipede? I like centipede. This is centipede with a trainer on it. Whoa, hello. No, it's fine. No, no. Yeah, here it is. Centipede. As you might expect, this is, uh... Gonna be a totally serviceable port. It's kinda... Y you kinda gotta go out of your way to mess up Centipede. I really happen to like Centipede. Also Millipede. Oop. 
I am not making a particularly good showing for myself here. In fact, making a real bad showing. It's over already. But yeah, this is Centipede. It's exactly... Exactly as it should be. It's just Centipede. They didn't add anything to it. They didn't take anything away from it. Just good old, simple centipede. The fact that I can't kill the centipede is not doing me any favors. He keeps spawning more in. I'm pretty sure you could have more than one shot on screen at once. It again has been a many a year, so maybe I'm misremembering. But yeah, since I don't have a lot of time, I'm waiting to possibly get called for more work tomorrow. I think I will call this here and just say happy C64 day. Anyways, later guys.